You've probably heard of the Pacific Garbage Patch and other plastic debris in the ocean, but have you heard of microplastics? When larger plastic debris, like this, breaks down in the ocean, it degrades into microplastics. Pesticides and other chemicals can be absorbed from the water into the microplastics, and animals that eat these microplastics can move the chemicals up the food chain, eventually affecting humans who eat seafood and other fish. Our study has set out to look at different areas of the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary to look at the densities of plastics. We're looking at areas such as near rivers and near sewer outfalls to see where the plastics come from and where they concentrate. We deploy our manta net off the side of the boat, going about two knots, and leave it in the water for about half an hour, using a flow meter to determine the exact distance traveled. After retrieving the net, we rinse everything collected out of the cod end and into sample jars for later detailed processing in the lab. During the deployment, collection, and retrieval, detailed notes are taken regarding the location and other important factors such as sea conditions. After collecting our samples, we have to analyze what we found. Because not all microplastics are visible to the naked eye, we have to use a microscope. Microplastics are classified by five types, fragments, films, pellets, filaments, and foam. We are still analyzing our data, but past studies have shown that filaments from clothes are in higher concentration near sewer outfalls. We also expect to find more microplastics where ocean currents congregate biological material. So what can you do to help with this global issue? First, you should limit your use of single-use plastic products, such as water bottles and plastic bags, and recycle them when you can. Also make sure you dispose of your trash properly so it doesn't end up in the ocean. And lastly, help with your local beach cleanups and pick up trash when you see it on the beach.